Hello, I'm Bob Burke, and as part of the Ireland Reads Initiative, I've been asked by the awfully nice people in Limerick Library to make some recommendations on books that I've read during lockdown in the hope that you might enjoy them also. The first book I'm going to recommend is actually by a celebrity author. And normally when I hear the words celebrity and book deal in the same sentence, I break out in hives because I imagine that the only writing the celebrity has actually done is when they sign their name to the book contract before handing the job over to somebody else to do the heavy lifting. There are, of course, a few exceptions, and the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osmond is most certainly one of them. It's set in a retirement village where four of the residents, Ron, Ibrahim, Joyce and Elizabeth, spend every Thursday trawling through old murder cases in the hope of making a breakthrough and solving it. Inevitably, a murder occurs almost literally on their doorstep, and they set about trying to solve it with the top. It's an old school who done it, peppered with enough clues to keep you guessing to the end. The characters are very, very well written, very, very well drawn, and are very, very aware of their limitations from physically and mentally as they're all in their 70s and rating. It's also an affectionate look at growing old and not being defined by your age. Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osmond, recommended highly. The next book I'm going to recommend is by one of the few writers that make me laugh out loud. It's a book that kind of tops the Irish bestsellers for weeks at a time when it's released. It doesn't seem to have the same breakthrough abroad. It's hard to know why, maybe it's just because it is so local. Uh, the book's by Paul Howard, writing as the inimitable Ross O'Kelly, South Dublin's thickest uh, resident. And the current book is called Braywatch. Titles are almost a laugh in themselves. In this one, Ross, who is not the brightest uh, light in the chandelier, uh, ends up doing the one thing he really never wanted to do, coaching a non-A school in rugby and using his skill set to make them a better team. It's full of all the regular characters, the wife, the toxic children, the pub going friends and Ross's own massive ego. Uh, incredibly funny. It's colossally full of madcap situations. So if your idea of a good time is reading about Ross in a car on the dual carriageway to Ross Lair uh, in the company of seven surrogate mothers while being chased by the police and his father's lawyer, then this is most certainly the book for you. The illustrations are by Alan Clark and they are really, really superb. They capture the scenes in the book perfectly. Uh, you'll probably not read a funnier book this year. And if Ross is your thing, or if you think Ross might be your thing, give it a read. Ross or Carl Kelly. Watch. And I apologise for the mirroring in the uh, camera. I just couldn't be bothered getting it to work properly. And before I leave, and in the interests of shameless self-publicity, I just mention my own three books, which you can usually get in your local library if you're young at heart and fancy a bit of a laugh. The Third Pig Detective Agency, its sequel, The Ho 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 Mystery, and its other sequel, The Curse and Way Mystery. Um, they tell about what happened the th survivor of the Three Little Pigs story after the story finished, spoiler, he became a detective. I enjoyed writing them. I hope you enjoy reading them if you do manage to pick them up. They are available in your local library. Thank you for your time. I hope you found something there that you enjoy.